Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft 2 where we just finished the Wings of Liberty campaign and I have a small correction to make. I said that this will be on Friday the 4th. I don't know why I said that. This is on Sunday the 6th, but you knew that because it's already out for you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and dive straight into Heart of the Swarm. As a uh, bit of recap, Kerrigan is kind of halfway deserged. Or something? It's a bit unclear. Kerrigan is partially deserged. The Zerg were defeated on Char, and Raynor carried Kerrigan off into the sunset. That's pretty much all we know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a new campaign, and this is going to be on hard, because I really feel like normal was a little bit too easy. So let's go ahead and do this. Prologue. With the disappearance of the Queen of Blades, the Zerg Swarm has been shattered. Jim Raynor's rebel forces have smuggled Sarah Kerrigan off Char, leaving the planet to General w Warfield. Wow, <laughs> words are hard. General Warfield and the Dominion. Meanwhile, the powerful Zelnaga artifact has disappeared. In a hidden base in the Omogen Protectorate, Raynor and Prince Valyrian have begun con conducting tests to ensure that Kerrigan's return to humanity is complete but they're running out of time. Throughout the sector, Emperor Minsk's forces carry out a re relentless hunt for the Dominion's most hated enemy, Sarah Kerrigan. Okay, hang on. So, they're not killing Kerrigan because they were able to save her, and of course, that's Jimmy's, that's Jimmy's jam. But the, the problem that I have here is, by deserging her, might you also mess up Zeratul's prophecy. Just something to think about there, Jimmy. Open 
his orders, sir. No visitors. Open the door. The test protocol will begin in two minutes. Make the most of this test. It's your last one. Now give us a minute. Very well. We're getting out of here tonight, darling. Good. Then we can go after Mengsk. Forget Mengsk. Forget all of it. This is about you and me. Until Mengsk is dead, there can't be a you and me. I moved heaven and earth to bring you back, Sarah. I can't watch you throw that away just for revenge. Initiating test phase two. I never gave up on you, Sarah. Don't you give up on us! Test phase two, commencing. What are you hoping to get out of these tests, Valerian? I told you, I don't remember anything about being the Queen of Blades. We have to find out how much of the Zerg mutagen is left in your system. I appreciate your cooperation, Kerrigan. Do you usually keep cooperative people in a containment cell? When we know it's safe, I'll unlock your door myself. Now, can you reach out with your mind? Do you sense it? A drone? Are you really asking me to take control of a Zerg mind? Do you know what could happen? All the test subjects are in a secure environment. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh boy, that's a that's a really bad idea. A hatchery is the central structure of a Zerg base. It spreads creep so that other structures can be built. The hatchery also produces lava, which you use to morph into more drones or other Zerg creatures. When you use lava, the hatchery will replenish them over time. Okay, Kerrigan. I'm releasing more drones into the test chamber. See if you can order them to gather those resources. Well, that was easy. <laughs> 300 minerals? Okay. What are we expected to do with them? Spawn more overlords? <laughs> that would be exciting. You're doing well, Kerrigan. Can you morph more drones? I need an overlord to morph anything else. Do it then. One overlord shouldn't hurt. Wait, seriously? Okay. Oh, they moved it to V? Sir, okay. Use overlords to generate more supply. Your current supply maximum is displayed in the upper right corner of the screen, along with how much supply you are currently using. If you do not have enough available supply, you will not be able to morph a unit. Okay, 
So we've almost got our minerals. Excellent. I plan to stop here, but let's take this a little further. Try mutating a drone into a spawning pool. Okay, uh, spawning pool is still S. Excellent. The spawning pool allows the hatchery to turn lava into zerglings. You know this is going to end badly, right? We have a controlled environment. Sure you do. Okay. The spawning pool is finished. You should go down to the test chamber and inspect it. I can see just fine from up here, thanks. I think that's all we need today, Kerrigan. Great work. If you think that was great work, wait till you see this. I'll make some zerglings. Kerrigan, what are you doing? Putting your controlled environment to the test. Oh, okay, that works considerably differently then. You have to press it multiple times with multiple larvae selected. Okay, that's fine. Not enough minerals. Zerg Valerian, they never do what you expect. Shut down the experiment. Get sentry bots in there to sanitize those holding cells. Lock down on the sublevel and power up the eradicator. Nothing gets out. Maybe if I destroy your pretty eradicator, you'll learn you can't control the Zerg. I mean, that'd be a good lesson. Okay, so we need to destroy the eradicator. Those sentry bots are destroying the zerglings in their pens. I can change that. Okay, we'll focus this one next. Now this one. Now this one. I sense Excellent. more zerglings in holding pens. Valerian, you were very careless. Perhaps I'll free them too. Not enough minerals. Okay, so how many minerals do we actually have? Quite a lot is the answer. Not enough minerals. Okay. Well, let's go. Containment breach. Zerg specimens free. Evacuate the scientists. Get all personnel out of there. I wish I could do some research, like ling speed. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Let's shut down this generator. Excellent. More zerglings. Good. I can use them. Indeed. Okay. Um so here's the thing. I can keep spawning more overlords here and get these two zerglings down here. And get a few zerglings going. We can just rally down here. Okay, let's go. It never is with the Zerg. Okay, so we can get a few more lings. Not enough minutes. For sure. There we go. Let's push up this direction. Uh, there's something right up here. Sentry guns, don't really care. No more personnel remain on sublevel. It's all out of control. Containment door closed. Automated gas defense activated. That containment door won't open until I destroy those turrets. Uh-huh. That gas is hurting my zerglings. Yes indeed it is. Well, nothing to be done. I was hoping we'd get, like, Hydras or something to deal with them, but nope. That's okay, we've got plenty of lings to make this happen. The door's open. 
now to destroy the eradicator. Yes, indeed. Hello. We're gonna lose a fair number of zerglings just because of the positioning of these guys. Their positioning is pretty good. But that's okay. We've got plenty. Okay. You have more zerglings here. Well, they're mine now. Fantastic. Let's go get this last round of zerglings before we head up here and kill the eradicator. Hello, bots. Goodbye, bots. And here comes another round of lings. We'll get even more. Excellent. Um, these are feral zerg here. Okay. We'll go, we'll go clear this. We don't control these. I think when we clear the generator, we'll get them. It's the theory anyway. These lings can come on up over here. And we'll clear out these sentry bots as our reinforcements come in. And there we go. Excellent. We'll make a few more lings. You've made your point, Kerrigan. Not yet, I haven't. I'm still in your containment cell. Eradicator activated. Okay, well, this, uh, isn't going to work very well for Valyrian. Especially with more reinforcements on the way in. Additional required. Eradicator destroyed. Situation critical. The Zerg have overrun the sublevel. You're lucky no one was killed, Kerrigan. Luck had nothing to do with it. And maybe now, you understand how dangerous the Zerg are. I'll send them back to their pens. I appreciate that. I'm opening your cell right now, if you'd like to join me. And perhaps next time you can make your point without destroying half the facility? Well, I mean, you weren't listening, so... <laughs> okay, so, new unit acquired Zergling. Sentry bots destroyed, blah blah blah. Okay. So, we would have had to complete it in 22 seconds faster to get all the achievements. Luckily, this isn't an achievement run. So let's continue. You made a mess down there, Sarah. Starting to regret bringing me back? <laughs> Never. I heard about what happened with your friend Tychus. I'm sorry. He made his choice. I made mine. Maybe you should have let him kill me. I slaughtered millions as the Queen of Blades. That wasn't you, Sarah. Leave the past behind, and let's focus on getting out of here. I'll suit up and meet you here in an hour. Okay. That sounds good. My ship is prepped and we're ready to go. Head your way now. Okay, so we just depart with Raynor. Well, I mean, I don't like starting a mission this close to the end of the episode, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and next episode, we will depart with Raynor. See you all then.